While much of suburbia in the latter part of the 20th century was being developed with corporate parks that consisted of acres of asphalt, office glass boxes, and large rocks landscaped with little rocks orbiting around them, the General Foods headquarters in Rye Brook, New York by Roche and Tinkaloo distinguished itself as being different and good. The building was designed by Kevin Roche and John Dinkaloo Associates. This is the successor firm to Aero Saarinen, who designed the TWA terminal at JFK and the St. Louis Arch. They are an award-winning firm, including the Prixer Prize, which is the architectural equivalent of the Pulitzer Prize, and the AIA Gold Medal, which is the architectural equivalent of a gold star from your first grade teacher. The employees and local taxi drivers refer to it as the Taj Mahal. It was once the headquarters to General Foods, which was bought out by Philip Morris, who later changed the name of the company to Altria, because that sounded so much nicer than that tobacco cancer company. It is currently owned by a private real estate group, which markets it as 800 Westchester Avenue, a multi-tenant office complex. In spite of the taxi driver's nickname for the building, it never struck me as the Taj Mahal, which is a mausoleum to a favorite wife. Rather, it hit me as a Palladian villa inflated to American proportions. When General Foods completed the building in 1983, postmodernism was softening the harsh edge of modernist architecture by allowing sentimental history to creep into the designs. Palladian villas were designed in the 1500s by architect Andrea Palladio. He was a student of Roman architecture and he imposed classical proportions and symmetry on many farmhouses throughout the Veneto region of Italy. Many of the designs would have a strong central building, low wings that stretched out to identical buildings at either end. You could see that at Villa Amo and Villa Barbaro and many others. They would be delightful corporate headquarters, but for very small corporations. But in America, everything is bigger. You could not fit General Foods into one of those tiny little villas. So here's where the architects scaled up the Palladian design into something bigger, American, and more corporate. Or so I am assuming. I actually called the Roche and Dinkalo firm to find out if Villa Amo was the inspiration for the General Foods headquarters. Nobody ever got back to me. That's okay. In the world of great architects, I'm a nobody. And they might have thought I was just some crazed descendant of Palladio trying to sue for copyright infringement. I am not. Why blow up the Palladian Villa? Well, in the 1800s, if you were approaching said villa in a single horse-drawn carriage going at maybe five miles an hour, the villa would slowly reveal itself to you and begin to overwhelm you with the size and its elegance. That you might forget that your beau has sealed up in the attic of that villa his crazed first wife, or perhaps his mother-in-law, or perhaps a cousin of questionable hygiene. But in a 20th century Corvette going at 80 miles an hour, for you to be overwhelmed by the building slowly, the building would have to be immense. And so the guest approach to the General Foods headquarters was on a curved road purposely to slow you down so that it would duplicate that emerging arrival experience at the villa. The General Foods building, built with the money earned from selling Kraft macaroni and cheese and Jell-O, sits on its site, imposing itself like a Palladian villa with the similar form of a central building low wings, and identical buildings on either end. The architects designed it so the parking is underneath the building, even though that costs three times as much as a conventional parking lot. So you have to applaud the owners for going through that expense as it gives the building a country setting and preserves a lot more green space. And they even put a reflecting pond in front of the building. Even though to me the Palladian origins of the design are unmistakable, I have been unable to get the locals to change their nickname for the building from the Taj Mahal. I thought given General Foods products and the design, it should be called Villa Jello. I'm Michael Molinelli and this is Architecture Codex.